Hello, I'm Jessie Benson and I'm owner of Buffalo Mountain Bakery out here in Willis, Virginia looking at the Buffalo Mountain right now and today I'm going to be teaching you how to make classic pie dough. So the four ingredients that make a classic pie dough are all-purpose flour, salt, butter, and water. And so today I'm going to mix the two dry ingredients together and then I'm going to chop up the butter into little half inch squares mix that together and add just enough water so that it holds together. Not too much, not too little, just right. So this recipe is a cup and then a quarter of a cup. And notice I change cups because I want to be able to again put just enough and sweep it. And I couldn't do that if I tried to do a cup, a quarter of a cup in there. So a cup and a quarter. And then for the salt, just enough to give it just a little bit of extra flavor. Really undetectable, but you'll, you'll notice it if you leave it out. And so the two dries, nice whisk, so all that salt gets mixed around. And then all these lovely little half squares of butter go in to get a nice coating. And notice I'm using my hands, that's on purpose. You can use a pastry cutter if you want, but it's just as good to use your hands. And I didn't mention it, but that was very cold butter, fresh out of the fridge, so that it doesn't melt when I'm working with it. So you notice I'm just pinching, and I'm just basically making the butter little flat parts of butter. And I'll do that until it's all like wet sand. Okay, okay so now this is cold water. I'm gonna put it in a little bit at a time. You see how much is, it's maybe like a tablespoon. And in between each one, I'm giving a little bit of time because I don't wanna overdo it. See how I'm squeezing it and it's staying together? That's how you know that you're right at that point of enough, but not too much. Beautiful, it's such a pretty disc of dough. No major cracks in it, nice and supple, but not too wet. And then I'm going to wrap it, wrap it. I'm going to wash my hands before I put it in the fridge, otherwise I'll have dough all over the house. Okay, so this is a wonderful disc of classic pie dough. It has flour, salt, butter, and water. That's all that's in there. And this beautiful thing is going to make a magical pie crust. And so before I put on the counter, I'm going to put a little bit of flour. This is all-purpose flour so that my dough doesn't stick to my counter and start to shred. I'm going to go once and I'm actually going to flip it over so I have some on both sides. And so what I do is in both directions and turn it about 90 degrees. And then I turn it and all I'm doing is just gently applying steady pressure that's going to let the pie dough thin out in every direction. And if you can see there are no cracks in the dough that's because there's just enough water in this dough that it's not too dry, it's also not soggy so it's not sticking to my rolling pin. Okay I think we are getting very very close. I just roll it over, lift it up, and then put it halfway, and then I roll it out. And look at that, that was two minutes. And then I just make sure that it's touching the bottom, spinning it around. Okay, beautiful. And then for this one, I'm gonna fold it under, all the way around, folding it under. And pie dough is very forgiving, so if you tear it, don't worry, just pinch it back together. If you have too much, don't worry, just cut a little off. There's nothing to be afraid of pie dough. It is the gentlest thing in the kitchen. It'll do whatever you ask it to do. All right, so we could leave it like that, but I like to go, it would just be like this, just, but I like to do the little bit of crimping and it's really no specific way to do it. You'll just kind of intuitively do it the way you want. But I use both my thumbs and my first fingers. 
And the cool thing about pie dough is, no matter what it looks like, it's gonna taste good. <laughs> so, and then this can go back in the fridge while I make the sweet potato pie ingredients because it bakes better if it's chilled. So chill it while you're putting your fillings together, then put your fillings in and follow your recipe for the rest. So you never need to buy a frozen pie dough again because now you know how.